but yeah, I'm full-time mom and full-time working with this channel. So it's, um, yeah, definitely important for me to uh, be efficient, you know? Um, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. Whether you are new here or have been around for a while, I'm very happy that you've joined me here today. So I think for a lot of people, most people, it is definitely a chaotic time of year, a special time of year. I absolutely love the holiday season. I think just life can get chaotic sometimes, whether it's the holiday season, whether it's just a chaotic time for you personally. With that, yeah, we don't want to like be overthinking and spending all this time trying to figure out outfits and styling outfits or anything like that. So today's video is five tips to simplify our outfit styling routine. So these are just tips that I've learned over the years that have really simplified and streamlined my sort of routine to make sure that each day I'm, you know, have the best style that I can. These tips are definitely going to help you with that. So I think without further ado, Let's talk about these tips. Okay, tip number one is choose your formula. This can go by a few different names, you know, formula, uniform, silhouette. Maybe you've got a few different outfits that are sort of your go-to outfits. Take a look at those outfits. Maybe it's taking a picture of them or maybe just looking at yourself in the mirror and take note on what it entails. And I think, surprisingly, you will probably see that there's like a pretty, common thread throughout those outfits, a sort of certain formula that you're always following. So an example of these would be um, one of my sort of go-to formulas is the three-piece look. So that usually for me is gonna look like a high-waisted jean or a high-waisted pant, usually a high-waisted jean because I'm a jeans gal, then with a t-shirt or a button-up shirt that then is kind of tucked into the high waist, so still showing off that waistline. Maybe it's a full tuck, maybe it's just like a little half tuck, maybe it's just like a little zhuzh of a tuck, but either way, it's still showing that high waist because I think that the high waist elongates, uh, makes me look a little bit taller, uh, makes my legs look a little bit taller, and it kind of emphasizes the upper half, which I like. Then I finish it off with the third piece being an open layer. So that open layer could be an open blazer, it could be an open jacket, an open uh, cardigan, because then what that's gonna do is kind of finish off the look, it's slimming, as well as that it sort of frames the look uh, and just adds a little bit more interest. I would say that is genuinely my biggest go-to. I run that formula probably most days, I would say. Another kind of go-to formula for me is the oversized fit with the tight fit. So whether that's maybe an oversized sweater with some tight fitting jeans or tight fitting leggings, or maybe it's like some oversized wide leg trousers with like a tight fitting turtleneck on top. But that's kind of like one that just kind of is easy as well. Tip number two is the rule of Three. The rule of three is a good one for somebody that is just looking to have a minimalist wardrobe or maybe even a capsule wardrobe. This rule is great for that style efficiency. So what is the rule of three? It's ultimately just having three pieces per category. So three pairs of jeans, three t-shirts, three shirts, three pairs of pants, three pairs of shoes. What these three things have is these are your favorite, most loved, most flattering pieces you have. These are just your go-to pieces. You wanna keep them in the same color category or the same color palette or color tones, just colors that are working together. And however you wanna organize it, maybe you put those you know, specific go-to pieces in like a certain part of your closet. Maybe it's that that's is all you have in your closet, like however you know, extreme you wanna go. Or maybe it's like you keep them in the front or keep them on the top whatever it is. But the idea with this is that you know that when it comes to those days where you just need something, that you can literally just go bump, 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 grab a piece from each of those categories, from each of those three, um, and you will end up with a good outfit that you are feel good in, that you love and are excited about. That's sort of the idea behind it. Now, obviously there's little things that go into it, things you have to obviously think about to make sure that everything's coordinating together. But ultimately, if you're just choosing pieces for each category that you absolutely love, you will end up coming out with 
outfits that you absolutely love. Sometimes this is super easy. You could go in your closet and find it right away, but maybe you have to work on it for a bit. Maybe it's something you have to work towards for a bit to really find those go-to pieces that you are just absolutely in love with. Number three is repeat specific outfits. This is a good thing. I feel like it's happening more and more. People are saying normalize outfit re repeating. And I am all about this. Like I remember when I was a kid, I would stress out if I wore even the same piece in the same week. Like I thought people were gonna judge me if I wore like the same pair of jeans um, twice in a week. These days <laughs> I am will wear the same outfit all week sometimes. If I find an outfit that I'm super excited about, feel good in it, yeah, I'll wear it all week if I need to. One, I think people are getting to the point where they realize, oh yeah, I don't need to wash my clothes every time I wear them. Unless your clothes really smell, or have lots of stains or whatever. They don't need to be washed every day, especially if it's something like a sweater or jeans, um, like a sweater that's not touching your actual skin does not need to be washed on a regular basis. It makes it just easier for you to style an outfit every day because you're just like, oh, I love this outfit. I'm just gonna wear this again today. Um, and guess what? Nobody's gonna notice, trust me. I guarantee you if you ask somebody what they wore the day before, they can't even remember what they wore the day before. So they're they're not gonna remember what you wore the day before. The only person that might notice is maybe your partner or like a close friend, but they don't care. My husband and I both outfit repeat all the time and we have no judgment. We have nothing but admiration for each other when we do it, so. Number four is invest in shoes. I would say a majority of your fashion budget should be going to shoes. Uh, shoes definitely make or break an outfit and they can instantly elevate an outfit. So you could put together the most basic boring outfit, but if you add a good pair of shoes, you're flying, investing your time in and investing your money in. So just investing your time, meaning, you know, researching, uh, taking the time to really find something that you absolutely love, not just kind of settling for something that you find or something that's like a really good deal. Um, I'd say it really make sure that you're, you know, waiting for those those pairs of shoes that you are just super excited about. I, I am definitely one that does not condone <laughs> impulse buying, but I do condone it when it comes to shoes in the sense of I might come across a shoe and just instantly fall in love with it and just know that that's gonna be something that's going to elevate my wardrobe that I'm gonna love and have for a really long time. I will, I'll go for it. More so just because it, does just affect your style so much and has such an impact on style and is just, you know, an easy way, an effortless way to bring in style to a look. And tip number five is the style sandwich. This is definitely a go-to technique for a lot of people out there. Um, I, I've been seeing it all over the place, people talking about it, and it is something that I've used for years. And basically what the style sandwich is, the shoes are like the bottom piece of bread. <laughs> And then the outfit is sort of like your filling, your sandwich filling. And then the top part of the bread is like a good accessory, like a good chic accessory or a bold accessory. Maybe it's like a bold pair of earrings or maybe it's an amazing fierce hat or maybe just a really um, awesome uh, handbag. That middle filling can then be something that's a little bit more basic or a little bit more classic, a little bit more streamlined, which is kind of nice because then you don't really have to overthink your outfit. You just know, okay, I've got these nice basic pieces and I can just bring in that style with a pair of shoes and an, an accessory. And it just makes it a lot easier and less overwhelming to think about. And it's really crazy how much of an impact that can have. You can still kind of use the style sandwich um, if you're bringing in like statement pieces or trendy pieces within your outfit, like within the actual clothing pieces. But when you kind of keep that in your head, the style sandwich, it definitely helps you uh, visualize an outfit a lot easier. It makes it a lot more simple. Okay, my friends, so those are my five tips on how to simplify your outfit styling routine. Hopefully this was helpful. Definitely comment below and let me know what your favorite tip was, or if there's a tip you would like to add, um, let's definitely have those discussions down below. If you really loved, loved, loved today's video and wanna see more of these type of videos, more five tip type videos, then give me that super thanks if you're able to. Do not 
you know, put yourself out, giving me a super thanks if you, if you're not able to, if you got a few bucks to spare, yeah, give me that super thanks and let me know that you really, really like this video because it then helps me to be able to produce more of these videos and not have to be a sort of slave to the algorithm. Yeah, I can just make the videos that I want. If you're not able to give me a super thanks, no problem, no worries. I just appreciate that normal thumbs up, commenting below, sharing with your friends and subscribing for future weekly episodes and clicking the bell to get notified when I post those episodes. All of this really, really helps me out to break through that YouTube wall into the U YouTube abyss. So I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a beautiful festive rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. All right, happy holidays. Bye.